Alright, welcome back. Okay. Let's get that chest. Another potion. The way they strategically place those potions is interesting, because it's like, when I first played through, I noticed that, because actually, I used them a lot. And so it's like, how often do you put a healing item so that you make the game difficult, but not, like, too easy, like, too hard or too easy? Um... I don't know, I like game development, but I've just... I have an idea for a game, I just don't have the time... Like, I haven't taken the time to make all the different assets. Um, because it takes a lot of assets just to make one of the game. One game. Um, like, I have an idea, but then I don't have much beyond that. So... Like, I have, I mean, I guess I should say, I have a program, um, it's Click Team Fusion, so it's like a simple, um, so I came in there, right? I really can't remember from where I was coming and going, um, but Click Team Fusion is one of those, like, easy drag and drop type games where you can, um, make things pretty easily. There we go. Um, me and my brother used to play it, play it all the time and make some awesome games, but I just haven't, like, most of the games we would make were using the assets that came with the game, but it's like, if I want to make my own game, I would have to make, like, 100% original assets, and I'm really not that good at pixel art yet, and, like, other tools, I, I don't have the other tools to do different, like, Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe that'll just come in time. But, like, I've, there's different tools I've thought about buying. Um, I don't know. I guess I would just have to start somewhere and then get it going. But I just don't like that. I need to work more on, like, a character, to how to draw, like, a good character design that to play with. Because it's like, I have the idea, I have good an idea for mechanics and stuff like that. I don't want it to be, I would rather it be like this, because I don't want it to be like, um, the typical Final Fantasy, like, I haven't played Final Fantasy in a while, but you know, the classic RPG, where you take turns and the game, like, you put press attack, and then the game plays it itself for you. So, I don't know, I mean, the, I, there's no, nothing wrong with those, I just... I think they're kind of outdated to have the game play itself for you by directing it and saying, okay, I want you to fight, I want you to use magic. And so, but instead you have this direct, um... a more direct attacking and defense and different stuff like that. Um, I guess where the, like in Monster Hunter, the cooldowns are your animations and stuff like that, so it has to go through all the frames of animation instead of attacking and then have an arbitrary cooldown. Wow, my health- I just realized that my health is getting kind of low. Getting chiseled away by these guys. So I'm, I definitely like the axe a lot more than the sword, because it can just heft a lot more. Let's see. I'm just searching, because I don't know where to go. I really don't remember a lot of this. Like, I remember beating the game, but I just don't remember a lot of the... the searching. I totally forgot about these snail monster guys. There we go. Okay, maybe I should use a potion now. Okay. I 
I don't know. I think, like, one of my biggest dreams would be, um, to make, like, A, to make a game, and B, like, to have that game sell well enough to, like, I also want to make toys or something after it, like a shirt, like a hoodie or toys, or just have, mer make gamer merchandise for that to, like, for a game that I made. Because that would be crazy. Like, it, it's just, it blows my mind when... Like, Five Nights at Freddy's, like, he made a game, and it got really popular to the point where he's got a line of toys out, and he's got a line of, like, a whole bunch of different stuff going on, and that's, I think that's awesome. Let's see. Well, no, we'll go ahead and do that. Gosh, I feel like I'm just going in circles. <laughs> I mean, maybe I am. That's probably what my problem is. Let's go ahead and pick things up a little, because I've, I've fought enough guys for right now. So I came in. Need to get the treasure chest, but it's on the other side. It's like I felt like, uh, yeah, I am going in circles. At least I'm making some sort of semblance to progress. And there's no way... I just realized that there isn't a stairs to this room. That this is all there is to it. Maybe I should equip the thing that keeps me from running into monsters so much. See, so yeah, there's no stairs. Go ahead and keep running just to hurry through it and try to get where we're going. I mean, it's just a long climb, and I don't want to waste time. So, anyways, um, today's April Fools. Um, I was supposed to, I thought about doing something yesterday, but I didn't really, I don't know. I didn't have time, honestly. I was working till late, and I ran out of episodes for this. Like, I literally posted my last episode, so I need to start recording more of these. Um... Okay. Keep going up. And I go down. Okay, so this is the last floor. We'll go ahead and fight these guys and beat them. Shazam! Too bad you can't hit the bad guys into each other. Because that's just what I picture with the axe, is just swatting them one into the, no the other one. But, oh, I've been watching an anime lately. Um, it's called Elemental g -Laid, but, like, in... They, like, literally, um, the title, when I search for it, and on the cover, it says, Elemental Geraid. And, like... That's not my fault. Like, that's not racist. That's what they put on the title is, e like, elemental, but it's Errementor. And so, I don't know. But, um, it's a great show. It reminds me of this, an this um, game, because you have a, a f like, instead of a familiar, you have what's called a, um... Well, I don't want to say Shikahoji, because that's what it, um, that's what the girl is in it, but... You have these, like, like Lapis would be a, the weapon I would use. So it, she would be the sword, or the shield, or whatever. And so, it's a good anime. I want, like, I just downloaded it, and it's a, a great one to go watch. I've been re-watching it. Um, but, um, it has, like, adventure and, like, romance and stuff like that. Um... I don't know, the girl character's a little flat, but I guess, like, she's getting, starting to get a little bit of depth, but, like, it's just one of those stereotype things where it's, like, the girl who's a, like, a robot, but she's not, like, a robot, but her motions make her seem like she's just, like, always dull. But, I don't know, she has a charm to her. So, I mean, the like, I, I actually have been watching the dubbed, um... The dubbed version of it, and the voice acting's well done in that one. I will say, like a lot of people, are, like a lot of anime, I can 
can't watch dubbed because it just doesn't sound right, but there are a few anime that d do the dubbed correctly or do it in a way that is tolerable. <laughs> um, I, don't, I just thought that um, Ele Elemental Jelay did it well enough. <laughs> um, ouch. Like, surrounded. Now let's go ahead and run this one. But, I think one of the notable, like, the only time I didn't like the Japanese ones as opposed to the, Amer the American voice acting, um, in Oh My Goddess, there were two characters. Um, they were the Motor Club guys. And they're clearly, like, the American-type characters that actually, like... <laughs> work on motorcycles and stuff like that, and so, but they got, they, like, I don't know if you, not in the movies, but, like, in the actual TV series, they hit them spot on, they had, like, dude, and, like, totally, like, I don't, and then the other guy was, um, a deeper voice, he was like, Morisato! <laughs> but, I just thought they did, like, a good job on the voice acting for that. Um, I don't, there's just a few characters like that, like, that they do a spot on, but the rest of it was kind of... It was okay. I, it was good. I like I liked some of that series. But Elemental g -Late is a good one. Um, let's see what's going on. Meryl, what's the matter? Shh. See, and this is like why you don't just go ask the person in charge, because Lupert might be in charge. Master Lupert, I'm sorry. We haven't caught those three yet. They must still be somewhere in the fort, though. Hmm... I'm sorry, sir, but I think that even if you did try... What? What are you thinking, sir? Why are you in such a hurry? They are, they're they already in the fort, trapped like rats. We can catch them in one fell swoop. That's true. They must be getting tired from running from our troops. So you can take the credit for their capture. That is my strategy. Oh, Master Lupert, that's brilliant. I know. So, what are you? What are we doing with these things? Ah, uh, yes, we've already started moving them inside. Good. Now, why don't we invite those rats downstairs here? Not very nice to call me a rat. Uh oh, we've been found. What are we gonna do? We've got to speak to them eventually. Come on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because this is smart, Veril. Hmm, I know those kids. One with the Guardian base, he's the son of Master Hero on the other side of the man. The other is the, so the son of a the man who couldn't become a craft lord. What did you say? Oh, struck a nerve, have I? What a loser. That loser didn't <laughs> have what it takes to be a craft lord, and instead, he hacked and cho that hack chose to hide his shame and obsess over money. And, oh, what a coincidence. He named his organization the Gold Guild. Sad. It's pathetic. You shut up. He came to me the other day and asked if I wanted to buy some swords in bulk. At a serious discount, of course. And did you buy them? Yes, of course I did. Militaries don't arm themselves. With Shinsetsu's swords and all those from your father, I can't fail. I also have to thank you as well. Curse you. Hold on there, you'll be fighting my soldiers, not me. You coward! Cowardly? No, this is just ingenious strategy. Now if you excuse me, mwahahaha. Lupert! We won't let you get away, bring it on! None of you will stand in my way, I won't be defeated any time! Okay, so... He's using the axe that I'm using as well. It's just too bad that I've got the reach on him and he can't get close to me. Ouch. Jeez. Go ahead and use the some magic on him.
That was easy. That wasn't too hard. Like, I was just, like, knocking him aside. Silly. Alright. Map is leveled up. He's a strong. Retreat! <laughs> of course I'm strong, imbeciles. Lupert's just using us as puppets. Sky, get Lupert. We're going back to the docks. Yes. This way, move. They're coming up the stairs. Look, they're coming up. Let's see, look, they're coming down the stairs too. This isn't fun anymore. They're coming. What are we going to do? Shall we fight them? There's no time to deal with them. I'm gonna try and stop them here. You two try to find a secret passage or something. You, I know you're good at that. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Um, okay, um... So we can't go down, we have to go up. Let's see. We go ahead and run, because we gotta hurry. So, um, I'm gonna keep going in the next episode. So I'm letting these episodes run a little long. But I'll see you in the next time. Bye.